Welcome to this week's Sarger Says. What I'm going to tell you about today is using insurance to cover the cost of your plastic surgery. Now before I begin, a little disclaimer, the world of insurance isn't my forte and is very complex. There's thousands of plans, thousands of coverage, and even in the United States, let alone going overseas for plastic surgery. Now, if you're in the United States and you're on a private pay insurance plan, there are certain plans, including Medicare, that will cover certain aspects of cosmetic surgery. Now, by definition, any surgery that's gonna be covered is going to be defined as medically necessary. There's particular procedures from the from the neck up, that's what I specialize, giving you a checkup from your neck up, and we're gonna talk about those in particular. So the one I get the most questions about is a nose job. Can insurance cover my nose job? You can get more information on that by checking out the video above, but the basics of that is absolutely. There's a lot of functional problems from breathing to nasal trauma that are covered by general medical insurance. When it comes down to it, for all the procedures we're gonna discuss, there's a certain process that goes on. Any surgery has multiple fees associated with it. You first have your surgeon's fees, and then you have your facility fees. Technically speaking, those are separate, and you should check with your insurance plan, both your in-network coverages and out-of-network coverages, which means people who are taking your insurance and people who aren't, and then your deductibles. What percentage are you gonna be required to pay if it's a percentage or a dollar amount, and you need to call your insurance to understand that. Now, in order to establish whether you are a candidate, you usually will need something called prior authorization, where your doctor and medical facility will submit paperwork to evaluate and prove your medical necessity. If you wanna know more about that, you can check out our website. So things like a nose job, what aspects of it are covered. Now, simple things like if you want your nose to look a different way, that's typically not covered. Other surgeries that are commonly covered are gonna be eyelid surgeries. If the skin is drooping over your eyelids and it's difficult to see as you get older, that can be covered to brow lift surgery causing the same thing. Next is going to be surgery called a lip lift. If you're older and that's causing problems with how your mouth moves, that can be covered by Medicare. Very rare, not very known about, uh, but it is possible. Last but not least, as mentioned, the nose job. That is probably the most commonly searched topic as a lot of surgeons will accept that portion of the payment to come from your insurance company. Understand that by definition and rule that should not change much on your overall price, but it does hopefully make that portion of it, including the facility, which includes the operating room and anesthesia costs, and uh, the surgeon's cost for that portion cheaper. Hope you guys understand this. I know it's a complex subject. Please give us a call and set up a consultation if you want to learn more.